This right here is the Moto G85, one of the most value for money phones that Motorola has recently launched in the Indian market. And in today's video, we are comparing it with another phone that is very popular, which is this one, which is the CMF Phone 1 by the guys over at Nothing. Now, both of these phones, guys, bring a very good set of specs in the under 20K price segment here in India. But which one is better and which one is more suited for you? That's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. So if you guys are interested in it, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, Press on the bell icon so you don't miss any other update and with that said, let's get started. Alright, in terms of design, both of these phones sport a very good design with the Moto taking a more classy and premium route with its vegan leather back and CMF being more industrial and rough with this plastic back and all these screws and angles. Now if you ask me, the CMF in my opinion feels more raw and industrial as I said before and the stylish among you will probably pick the Moto because of its premium styling with the soft vegan leather bag and the 3D curved display that it comes with. However, as I keep saying, design is always subjective guys, so feel free to disagree with me on this point. Now let's turn the back panel around and move to the display and talk about what we get inside the displays of these two budget smartphones. First, let's talk about the Moto. The Moto comes with a 6.67 inch 3D curved POLED display which is 10 bit and has 120 hertz of refresh rate. The resolution is FHD plus and it also supports HD are 10 plus for watching crisp content in beautiful colors. Overall, the display of this phone feels very, very nice and easy to use and the curved display makes it all the more premium to look at, especially if you compare it to phones in this price point. One thing to again note in the Moto G85 is that it comes with Gorilla Glass 5 display protection at this price point, which is really commendable. The CMF on the other hand, guys, has the same resolution and the screen size, but the display here is 8-bit instead of 10-bit on the Moto and it is also not a curved display. It's a completely flat display. But one thing that CMF could improve here that I would say are the unsymmetrical bezels on the screen. As you can see, the bottom chin sticks out a far more than the top one and it just misses out on that factor and it also doesn't get any protection rating like the Moto. Now, in terms of the camera, both of these phones have a lot that needs to be said. So let's talk about the cameras next. The G85 is a Moto phone that comes with the Sony sensor, the Lightia 600 with OIS to be precise and you get a 50 megapixel primary along with an 8 megapixel ultra wide that also doubles up as a macro and a depth sensor. In terms of front facing camera, you get a 32 megapixel shooter that takes decent selfies. Now camera samples from the Moto perform fairly well as you can see on the screen right now in all kinds of lighting conditions and I was impressed with the consistency of color across both the lenses. Now the CMF guys on the other hand comes with a 50 megapixel sensor but misses out on the ultra wide. So the second camera that you see on the phone right now is actually just a 2 megapixel depth sensor. Now the 50 megapixel shooter takes decent photos but it's just that the Moto offers more value for money for price compared to the tech that you get here and even in terms of front facing cameras the CMF only has a 16 megapixel shooter and I would say that the Moto takes better selfies. However, the CMF phone does record video up to 4k 30 fps something that the Moto misses out on and I think Motorola should really work on this. Design wise guys one more point that I would like to add is that we have already spoken about how Moto offers vegan leather and a bunch of colors that you can choose from. But a lot of you know the CMF Phone 1 because it offers you something cool and something different which is user replaceable back covers which feel like a blast from the past. But one thing that you need to keep in mind is that all the back covers and the other accessories that are available for the CMF Phone 1 are all paid and they are pretty expensive considering the price of the phone. So keep that in mind every time you think of buying this phone to customize it. Alright, let's talk about power and performance. The Moto G85 comes with the Snapdragon 6S Gen 3 with support for up to 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. Now see, the 6S Gen 3 from Snapdragon is a decent mid-range performer and I tested this phone out with multitasking as well as gaming and it handled everything well without any lags or heating. The CMF Phone 1, however, scores a brownie point here because it comes with the more powerful Dimensity 7300. Now the 7300 in terms of power is pretty similar to the 7200 but it does do gaming and multitasking a little bit better. So if you're looking for a performance heavy phone look at the CMF. However, things are not really as simple as that because the Moto actually supports you to get up to 12 gigs of RAM whereas the CMF stops you at 8 gigs. So you need to think about that as well. Along with that Motorola also offers you more internal storage to choose from whereas the CMF only locks you up to 128 gigs out of all the variants available in India. Battery and charging are pretty similar on both the phones. They both come with 5000 mAh batteries and support 33 
23 watt fast charging. Battery life is good on both phones and the phone also charges pretty quickly. But again, another thing to keep in mind is that the Moto G85 comes with the 33 watt turbo power adapter in the box of the phone. Whereas on the CMF Phone 1, you need to buy the charging brick separately for a whopping 1300 extra rupees. Seriously, CMF, you can't really expect to launch a budget phone and then expect people to buy the charger separately, at least here in India. Now, software-wise, I would say both are great and fairly stock. CMF, of course, runs Nothing OS 2.6, which is more stylized and characterful with the widgets and the icons, whereas Moto is running on Hello UI, which is the perfect blend of stock Android and cool gestures and features that you can use. It also comes with exclusive Moto features like Smart Connect that let you use your phone's display as a mouse for your external display or computer, which can come in really handy, especially if you travel a lot. Moto offers two OS upgrades and four years of security updates, whereas CMF offers the same two years of Android updates, but three years of security updates. Now, one good thing is that both of the phones didn't really have a lot of bloatware or ads in the UI, which made them more premium to use. Moto does have a few other features that make this phone more premium than the CMF, like dual stereo speakers with Dolby Atmos that includes Dolby head tracking and spatial sound, and an IP52 rating for dust and water resistance, along with support for up to 13 5G bands. All right, conclusion time. Let's talk about pricing, shall we? The Moto G85's launch price is 17999 for the 8 plus 128 GB variant and 19999 for the 12 plus 256 GB variant. On this, you can avail a 1000 rupees bank discount that will take your overall cost of ownership much lower and opt for a six or nine month low cost EMI that will effectively take your price down to 16999 for the 8 plus 128 GB variant and 18999 for the 12 plus 256 GB variant. Compared to the CMF Phone 1, which is priced at 15999 for the 6 plus 128 GB variant or 17999 for the 8 plus 128 GB variant. So essentially for 1000 more, the G85 offers you more RAM, more internal storage, a 3D curved AMOLED display with a higher bit rate along with premium vegan leather back, dual stereo speakers, a good IP rating, Gorilla Glass protection on the front along with great software features and the fact that you get the power adapter in the box. All these features in this phone makes it one of the best value for money phones under the 20k segment. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, this was my comparison of the Moto G85 and the CMF Phone 1 by Nothing. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below what you think about these phones and which one you will buy. The links to them will be in the description below. With that said, this is Anubhav signing out. I'll catch you guys next time. You guys have a great day. Stay safe and uh, peace out.